I am a firm believer in the benefits of meditation, and in particular, that's the method that I learned, Transcendental Meditation. Uh, they have done functional MRIs, which I don't know if you're familiar with what that is, where they actually look at an MRI of a human being as they're being asked to do something or think of something and see which areas light up, which areas in the brain are activated. Mm -hmm. And they have shown right. increased activation in the right. brains, increased neural pathways, circuitry, connections in the brains of people who practice meditation. Right. I think anything that increases what was mentioned actually by Bob is neuronal plasticity, yeah. mm -hmm. which has to do with how well we make connections. Every time you learn, you're listening to us, I hope, and you are recording it in your brain somehow, that is a process of plasticity. And the more you practice it, the better you get at it. So I'm intrigued by the idea mm -hmm. that uh, meditation helps with these processes in terms of um, turning on parts of the brain that are involved in learning and memory. But I also wonder about whether it reduces the stress and the, um, the, the factors that cause brain damage. And so it could be both. It could be the fact that your brain is working better because there are, less, there are fewer stress inflammatory mediators, but also because it's stimulating. And uh, you know, how could you possibly do better than that? To that point, that is there are many, many studies, but two in particular I think is very fascinating. That is, they have followed uh, a group of people who practice yoga uh, two to three times a week, another group who do not. After four years, they, they have found, number one, that the group, the reg regular yoga practice, practice group, that their um, brain region in their hippocampal region, that they have less shrinkage compared to those who did not practice yoga. What does it mean? The hippocampal region in your brain is the area that is responsible for your memory. Okay? So as we are getting older, it's not just our size that shrink. Our brain also shrink. Okay? So <laughs> where our brain do shrink. Uh, so do our skin, among many other things. But then that the, the, the issue here is for people who do practice yoga, they have a much, much slower speed of their brain shrinkage. So that's another evidence that you know, if you practice yoga, if you practice meditation, that is really in the sense of fending off the brain shrinkage and in the sense that delaying the onset of dementia and Alzheimer's.